Hey, this is B from Kongs of Rise, and today we're going to show you how to play all the different games that Capcom has been releasing on Fightcade. That's right, for the last couple of years, Capcom has been releasing their compilation arcade titles on various different platforms. And I started off with the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, which I got for my PS4. They had 12 titles here, and it included all the Street Fighters, the Alpha series, the Street Fighter 3 series, and they had some online play for them. So this was a great first compilation they released. Uh, a couple years ago, they released the Capcom Fighting Collection, which really featured the Darkstalker series, which is really nice. They had one street fighter game on there as well and red earth as well as puzzle fighter and gem fighter so that was kind of fun to be able to play the capcom fighting collection this past summer in 2024 they released and announced the marvel versus capcom fighting collection now this is freaking awesome uh they finally freed Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I think people have been waiting for an official release of this title for a very long time. I'm very excited because Marvel vs. Capcom is my favorite fighting game of all time. This is a great compilation series of all the best uh, versus series games that came out. X-Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel, but MVC 1, MVC 2, and you get to play Punisher 2. So they're going to be releasing this later on this year in 2024. And just recently, they announced Capcom Fighting Collection 2. The biggest things they're announcing here are CVS 1 and 2. Uh, Capcom Fighting Evolution, which I've never heard of this game before, but I'm really interested in this game. Alpha 3, Upper, as well as 3D fighting games, finally. Power Stone 1 and 2. Project Justice, very interesting choice, which is Rival Schools 2, as well as Plasma Sword, Nightmare of Bilstein, which is the sequel to Star Gladiator, which I learned, which is where Hayate came from, from Marvel vs. Capcom 2 series. So anyways, uh, I, I think this this is fantastic that you can get all these games now through officially Capcom licensed things. You can play online in the community, you get great artwork, so definitely consider supporting them. But today we're going to show you how you can play them all right now. So yes, a couple years ago, I did a tutorial on how to play all these retro fighting games on Fightcade. And today, this is still one of the premier places for people to play fighting games online. So the community with the Fightcade is still active. You go to Fightcade.com. We're going to get everything installed in just five minutes or so. Download the platform itself or whatever version you have for Mac, Linux, or Windows. We're going to download this to our desktop. It's about 230 megs. Download that for the installer. Next up, the next place you're going to want to go to is this website here, which I'll link in the description. Uh, my man Lofi1048 has created these JSON packs, which auto downloads the specific ROMs that you need to play all of these titles. So, so this has made this super easy to be able to download. So you're just going to download this pack right here directly onto your desktop as well. Uh, he's made some updates in the past couple of years. It's only broke once. He had it fixed very very quickly so thank you again lofi1048 if you want to check him out on twitter here's his handle you can check him out he's from brazil thank you thank you thank you drop him a note say how awesome he is because he made this super easy all right first thing you're going to want to do with your installer is double click on it it's going to ask you if you want to install this program onto your computer uh, you're going to click yes. The default selection is to your document section. For the sake of this video, we're just going to create a new folder on our desktop called Fightcade. And we're just going to select that so we can find it a little bit easier. So we'll go to desktop, Fightcade. You really can install this anywhere you want to. It's super portable. You can take this file folder on uh, a hard drive or something else that you want to and take it with you wherever you go. Okay, it'll ask you to set up DirectX for the first time. If you've already done this, it still may ask you to do this again. Feel free to click it. It should just install. All right, we're all done. Hit finish. Fight K was installed successfully, and now it will have a shortcut on your desktop. Let's open up the folder structure so you can see what's in here. You're going to see a couple different things. The Fight K actual launchable, the ROM section. When you click on here, you'll see different folders and nothing's going to be in here. There are no ROMs included at all with this system for here. Um, so what we're going to do now is install the JSON pack. So let's go back to our Fight K folder. We're going to go into the emulator folder. And right here, this is where we're going to install those JSON files. So double click on the zip file that you downloaded from that website. It's going to show up like this. You're going to see all these files. All you got to do is just drag all of these files. Make sure you grab them all, drag them directly into the emulators folder. And that's it. We're pretty much done. Now we can launch Fight Kate and log into our account or set one up if you don't already have one. And let's play some games. 
Kate. So if you're, this is your first time logging into Fight Kate, you're gonna create an account or you can log in if you already have one. Okay, once you're logged into Fight Kate, here's the user interface. It's quite simple. I mean, you can definitely check the About Me section. It'll go to a website to learn more about what Fight Kate is. You can check the manual here if you wanna read all the instructions about what to do. But essentially, all you're gonna do is click on this search icon here, and you're gonna see a menu of different games that are available right now to play. The most popular game on Fight Kate is absolutely Third Strike. And so you can see their popular games. There's 425 people playing that right now. There's 270 people playing King of Fighters. Uh, there's a lot of King of Fighters players. Marvel's Capcom 2 has 153 folks. Street Fighter 2 uh, Grandmaster Champion, which is Super Turbo, has 117 people. CBS 2, 114 people. And good old Champion Edition, 107. So you can check all their uh, popular titles of who's playing what right now. But this has also SNES games. You can play tons of classic games, like even Mario Kart on here. You can play all sorts of things. So this is one of the best emulators and things that you could have set up on a PC if you just want to test out something. And you can play online competitively with a ton of different people. So definitely check this out. You'll have a library of 8,000 games at your disposal. So let's get in here and let's play Third Strike. So if you want to join in, you're going to click this Join button. And what it's going to do the first time you click the Join button, you'll see this little prompt show up. It's going to search for the required ROMs and it's going to start downloading it and placing directly into the file folder structure that will work with Fightcade. Give it a second. If this doesn't work the first time, all you need to do is just close out the actual game lobby by clicking this button over here and then relaunch that Join and it should work again the second time. So definitely, if it doesn't work, try, try again. So once you get into the lobby, this is what it looks like. You can go in here, you can chat with anybody, you can see what's happening, you can see all the different players that are listed here that are available to actually challenge at the top. You would click on their names and you can challenge them um, however you want to. And there's all these people that are playing. You could actually even spectate if you wanted to. You can double click on one of these guys here. You can hop into the game and there's this fun community where you can watch just like you did in the arcade. If you wanna watch top people playing, they have replays happening. So this is a pretty cool feature to have spectate for some of their games it's not available for everything but you can get in here and watch some high level gameplay with these guys you can watch akuma versus hugo going at it uh so this is kind of fun to be able to watch this for a little bit so uh you learn almost as much by watching as you do by playing but yeah for me third strike i'm not as great at it yet so i probably have a lot of watching to do these are some three players it's kind of like my level i'm probably not even here i'm like d d tier or even below so if you want to play a game, you could technically play on your keyboard, but most likely you want to plug in a controller. You can use a keypad like a, you know, an Xbox controller, or if you want to plug in your own fighting stick, you can map out the buttons to any of the fighting sticks that you have. So what you want to do is click on the test game feature. Uh, each of the emulators has a little bit of a different setup where you click on the test game and you can set up your button controls. But here, once you do test game, you click on the input section, map game inputs. And from here, you can snap your coin, your start button and then your up arrow down left right and then just hit the buttons for weak punch medium punch strong punch weak kick medium kick strong kick so you have your player one technically you can play two players but once you set up your game that's how you're going to want to be able to play the games to be able to set up so you're in here pressing start and you can get in here and start playing some games so you can test out the game you can even do practice modes yourself so that's one of the things you can do to be able to play this game uh, right off the bat if you wanted to just play and try it out for yourself so you're welcome to get in here jump in test it out and see how it works you can play against the computers so yeah you can get in there however you want to so as mentioned before, Capcom has been releasing these collections, but a lot of these games, if you want to test them out for the first time, I highly recommend checking them out um, on Fight Cave because a game like Power Stone, I, I totally remember playing this probably on my PlayStation more than the arcade, but I played it again for the first time and I was like, I kind of don't remember playing this game, but it's, you know, kind of nostalgic. So look here, these are all the different games that I found in here and just put in my favorites list, but Marvel vs. Capcom 2, uh, CBS 2, all the Dark Stalker games, Marvel vs. Capcom, Plasma Swords on here, 
Power Stone 1 and 2, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Project Justice. Funny, they don't have rival schools on here, but they have Project Justice on here. Um, but you can get in here and play some of these classic games that, you know, you might have remembered playing back in the day. So uh, games like Project Justice, uh, I don't think I ever played this much. I remember playing rival schools, but again, you click the join button and then the little icon is going to pop up, download that game. Some of the Flycast versions of the game um, are a little bit different to set up. So once you do get it set up, um, then you should be able to get in here, click on test game. And so for these types of games, you're going to set up your controls slightly differently. You're going to have the fly class dojo pop up, click on your button check. You can see if your buttons are working and if they're mapped out correctly, then that's fine. You can get in here and play. Um, otherwise you could also go to settings, scroll down to controls, go to your Xbox controller or whatever, click on the map button and you should be able to see uh, light punch, heavy kick, click on the map button and then press the button that you want to. Once you're all done, hit the done button. It's going to launch the game and you can get in there and play. So let's play some Project Justice and see how much we remember at all because um, I don't remember this game much at all, if anything. So let's just try it out and see how well this plays. You don't need a ton of power to be able to play this from your PC as well. Um, not a lot of things to be able to, you know, get this running so a basic pc with you know a minimal graphics card uh, should be able to get you to run most of these games uh pretty easily and again you have online capability and all that good stuff so let's get in here and play so here uh let's just do some free mode and play uh, i think we can pick three characters uh so this is my sakura clone so hinata let's pick hinata uh let's get uh, akira in here because i remember akira and uh, oh, you have an unmasked Akira in here. And are there any other characters that I recognize from the first one? Um, this guy looks cool, Vatso. All right, let's go. So let's get in here. That's for your three people combination. So some of the different obvious things from Rival Schools uh, one to two um, are the three people combinations. There, a little bit of lag there just to jump up, but it's a 3D setting game. I should be okay once we play. So not gonna lie, that was uh, pretty bad in terms of lag. I was playing it earlier and it worked out okay, so I'm not sure what's up with that particular game. Uh, but let's try another fighting game like uh, Plasma Sword. This is again a new game that I hadn't played too much of. So Plasma Sword again with Hayato. Uh, we're gonna test the game and see how it plays. Plasma Sword, Nightmare of Bilstein. All right, we're gonna try Hayato versus Omega and see how it is. Oh yeah, it has his Shoto moves. Oh, he killed me. Ugh. Terrible, 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 but fun game, fun game. I never knew Hayato was from this series. All right, lastly, let's check out some Power Stone to see if we can uh, reminisce a little bit in our nostalgia of how great this game was or how random this game was. Because I remember doing a ton of button mashing in this game and not quite sure what the strategy is, but uh, um, I think I like Rogue. She's kind of got that uh, Princess Jasmine-ish vibe to her. So <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do it. Let's see if we can get in there and run around to, to see what we can do. So there's really only uh, you know a couple buttons. There's a punch button a kick button and a jump button so you really only have three buttons to be able to move around and do things and you pick up the uh, items and you start throwing them at each other and jump around and kick you get your gems that are running all over the place all right i power it up and now i get super crazy flame chick I can do crazy ass moves. So that's essentially the goal. You want to run around and see you can get all three gems and you can do your crazy ass moves. You, can, uh, you get time hits to do everything. Boom, that's it. So power stone.
yeah, this game is ridiculous. You're running around, grabbing gems to power up as fast as you can. Uh, it's, it's a big button master, but I'm sure there's some strategy to it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a fun way to be able to get in there and play some of your favorite arcade retro titles. So again, if you want to support Capcom, by all means, purchase the titles, play the official versions, get all the artwork. But if you want to test out the games casually and play, you can test them on your own using Ficade. Uh, if you want to play competitively online, the guys online here are pretty top tier. So I've not been able to hang too much in these games. Maybe Marvel 1, Marvel vs. Capcom 1 I can play a little bit. But otherwise, I get my butt spanked anytime I play against anybody on Fight Game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you next time. Hi. What? Okay. <laughs> okay.